The consortium is a research institute at the University of Chicago that does studies on school reform. We live on this funny boundary of doubt and belief that we're, we're always skeptical about evidence and we're skeptical about whether there's progress but we believe the schools can get better. We know Chicago really well, but we don't just know Chicago, we know schools. You know, we understand urban education um, in a way that's you know, really kind of deep and nuanced and that you don't see a lot of times in education research. We try to ask questions that are gonna get at really deep issues, things that people are really struggling with, not just in Chicago, but across the country. How schools work and how students learn and what really matters for student success. It's so important for us that we not just be doing good research, but it's actually good research that is usable by people, that it's actually changing how people are thinking about the issues in education, how they're thinking about their day-to-day -day work, how they're thinking about what sort of policies we need. I've always been a huge fan of the consortium, and I think having something like that in Chicago where I worked was a huge advantage. I think other superintendents in other cities that didn't have a strong, impartial research base um, made their jobs harder. And having folks who can feed you good information, who will tell you not what you want to hear, but what you need to hear, who will tell you the truth, is extraordinarily beneficial. So I always saw it as a huge asset, a huge advantage uh, to me, to the city, and ultimately, most importantly, to the kids we were trying to serve. One of our most significant uh, studies was the study of the five essential supports, and this was a study of the common characteristics of improving schools. Improving schools had five areas that they were very strong in. School leadership, collaborative teachers, family involvement, a supportive and safe environment for kids, and then finally ambitious instruction going on in the classroom. There was so much to dig into in the survey, um, but it was also a catalyst for me to begin my improvement as a school leader and to make the changes that I needed to make at my school. Attendance has improved, the number of suspensions and infractions in the school um, have gone down drastically by more than 200% in some cases. Now my students are increasingly willing to take on challenges. They feel more confident in themselves because there are structures and supports around them that they trust. And that allows them to take thoughtful risks and to work harder because they are working in an environment that is safer, warmer, and uh, more supportive of their needs. I just go back to being a principal my very first year and not knowing what I was doing and I was looking for an anchor and looking for the things that I could focus on. And it's the, the consortium, those reports were, I mean, they were posted all on my bulletin boards. You know, I had one right on my computer even, just to remind me of what was important and what really should be, you know, guiding my work with teachers. One of the first areas of focus was really looking at the performance of students in their freshman years. We came out with a report in 2007 called What Matters for Staying on Track and Graduating, where we really showed the crucial importance of attendance and how you know even one F made a huge difference in the ninth grade year for a student being likely to graduate. Freshman on track work has been a huge deal for the district. It really helped adults organize around the work and talk about student by student, how can we help the student with the challenges that we're facing. And so it sort of started dialogue and work within schools that wasn't necessarily happening systemically. Not only did the on-track rates improve, but achievement also improved. On-track really was a magical thing. Its graduation rates went up, Incidents of negative climate, uh, misconducts went down. College enrollment, most importantly, and it's all this is connected, also went up. I will say this any day of the week. There are, there's a child that is not in jail and there's a child that is not dead because of the work on track. I think that the consortium as an institution, especially located at a university like the University of Chicago, where this has succeeded over 25 years, I think that is something of a beacon for other places. I've heard people even talk about it as a social movement that's really fundamentally changing the way education research is done. The consortium is it's an amazing place in so many ways. People work there because they really care about what's happening in our city and they care about what happens to the students in the Chicago Public Schools and they really want schools to improve. While there's been fantastic work the past 25 years, hopefully the next 25 years you'll see even more timely research, even more impactful data that can help educators who have dedicated their lives to helping children be successful. I feel like we've had you know, an extraordinary influence on 
education in Chicago and in school districts across the country, but I feel like we could do so much more and I'm really excited to see you know, what that's going to be.